Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name it Kinetic Type 16 and I will make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second and 8 seconds duration and press OK. Let's start by selecting the type tool and let's write something cool. With that done, let's right click over the text layer and select Precompose. Give it a nice name, press OK and let's go inside of our new precomp. Here we want to make the composition smaller, like around the text layer. So let's use the region of interest tool to make a selection around our text. Then let's go to composition and select crop comp to region of interest. And perfect. Now let's go back to the main composition and with our new precomp selected, let's go to effects and let's scroll down to stylize and select CC Repertile. On the CC Repertile settings, let's expand all the sides to 4000. And for the tiling style, let's choose Brick, making this really cool repetition pattern. Love that! Now, still with our composition selected, let's press P to open the position properties. And while holding the Shift key, let's press R. So we have both properties visible. And now, let's mark a keyframe in each one. Great! Next, let's move the timeline needle to 2 seconds and let's change the position values. We want to match the text position the best we can. So let's activate the rulers and push a guideline to define the initial position, making it easier to match when we move our text. On a rotation, we can mark a keyframe in its current values. Then, let's move the timeline needle to 4 seconds and copy the initial keyframes and paste them. But before we preview the animation, let's apply a quick, simple expression over our properties. Holding the ALT key, click over the stopwatch of the position property. And this will open the expression editor. Here, let's write loop out. A simple expression to make this animation loop. And when you finish, don't forget to put a semicolon. Let's give it a little preview. And as you can see, only the position changes. Which makes sense, since we didn't change any keyframe value on the rotation property. But we will now. Select the rotation keyframes and let's open the graph editor. Select them again and make them easy and ease. And this way, we'll have control of the curves and the Bezier lines. And be sure to be on the value curve of the property and not the speed one. So let's select the first keyframes Beziers and push them up until we reach a rotation that we like. And with that done, we select the last keyframe Beziers and do the same thing, but this time we push them down. Give it a little preview and yeah, it's looking great. Now let's do something similar to the position. Select the keyframes, Open the graph editor and adjust the speed to make them a bit more interesting. Give it another preview and that's it. It's looking great, but we can make this even better. Over our timeline, let's right click and let's go to new and select adjustment layer. And be sure to move it over our text composition. Then with our adjustment layer selected, let's go back to effects. But this time let's go to distort and select bulge. And then inside of the bulge effect, Let's increase the horizontal and vertical radius to 1200 and the bulge height to 1.8 and the tapper radius to 500. We don't need to pin the edges, but for experimentation, give it a go. And who knows, you may like it the effect. If you do, keep it. Anyway, this is it. Our kinetic type is finished. I know it was a little bit simple technically. Whatever, not everything we design must be complicated and have complex expressions and effects. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, remember to like and subscribe, check my other kinetic type tutorials and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.